All right, uh, back to the next one. All right, we are on Data is Awesome. Uh, if you remember, uh, this was, we we're going through some data parsing and we we're splitting stuff on the fly to get uh, these things. All right, now what if you wanted to uh, split and then actually get it in, oh, get it into its own variable. So let's say we want to do, um, uh, why don't we do a string id equals a string csv uh, dot split. And we will split at the comma. And then we will go, since we're looking for ID, we will go the zeroth indice. All right. I'll well, give this a shot, see how it goes. I don't know if I put in too many brackets, but I guess we will see. I also should put in string, not sting. That would probably be helpful. Uh, uh, yes, I think I put too many brackets in. Why don't we try this again? Hmm. Interesting. Got an error. Maybe I don't need the brackets at all. Huh, we'll try that. Yeah, don't need the brackets at all. So here, why don't I clear? All right. So, uh, so this is what how you do what you would need to do to actually set it up if you wanted to parse this out into a string. So. You'd start here, you'd have your zeroth indice, you'd print it, and then you would get ID. So if you remember, ID would be that. So you could even have like, uh, here, why, why don't we set up another string? We'll call it uh, string CSV2. All right, so string CSV2, and then let's say, our ID is five, or a five, yeah, we'll go five. And then we'll do value, uh, let's say, blue, um, let's say, uh, actually, no, let's say name, we'll call him John, let's say his favorite, I don't know, football team is, I don't know, um, we'll say uh, Raiders, I don't know, Raiders, let's figure color is blue, alright, cool, so if we were to move to get these items, we were to print, CSV2, we'd see that. But let's say we are trying to get his ID, which is five, so we could go string CS string ID equals string CSV2 split. And remember, we're splitting at the comma, and we are going to go in the zeroth indice. Okay, so we print string ID. All right, let's see if this works. Wheel. String CSV2. Thirty 
Phone, phone. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> gotta watch your characters. Gotta watch your characters or they'll get you. Alright, cool. So here, clear. Alright, so when we did actually do that, we split at the zero entity. We got the thing. Now remember, we actually have an actual line of things that we could use. So we have, we actually ended up getting his ID. Now what if you want to, uh, let's say, let's get say we want his name. So we move down, we go string name, we will do string CSV2 split. Remember, we're splitting out the comma because that's where we want our thing to happen at. Uh, and remember, it's in the first place. So, print string. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, now we set up the thing for string name. So remember, this is the first end to see. Oh, sorry, trying to get you to focus. All right, so this is the first end to see, and we're gonna print string name. So if we go over here, we see that we print out the ID, which was five. Oh, I'm sorry, you just not wanted to focus. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Not wanting to focus. So we got five and then we got John. All right. So what if we want to do, uh, you know, a favorite football team? Okay. So here we do uh, string football equals string CSV to split, uh, we'll go, uh, since that's the, the second slot, we will do that, print string football, alright, so now we're going to do string uh, color, yeah, so I might as well just get it done, string CS, the SV2 split. Also, just wanted to say I'm doing this in gedit on Linux. Uh, I feel like Linux is probably going to be a lot better for data parsing in general. Uh, but, you know, you should use whatever you want to use. But I'm just doing this in a standard bash shell with Python 3 installed. Okay. So here, let me run it to double check everything's working good. All right, everything is working good. So here, so now we have string football and it's parsing out. You're getting your string football. We're parsing out the color. And then when you go up here, you get five John Raiders blue out of the line. All right, so that's kind of the main gist of a lot of data parsing and string parsing. Um, you know, that's kind of how you really want to really do it most of the time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Of course, if you have questions, you know, throw them in the, you know, the box down below. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, I'm really kind of looking to start up this channel. I thought this might be kind of interesting topic areas and stuff. I saw a lot of people really interested in it. So I just thought, eh, you know, I do some of this with my day job. So I thought, eh, you know, just to kind of throw this out. Some people might actually enjoy it. But, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, again, my name is uh, Aaron. This is Data is Awesome. Um, yeah, I uh, will be looking out for you guys in the next one. Thank you. Peace.